Prophet of Allah tells us of a man who worshipped Allah for 500 years. 500 years he worshipped Allah. And then when he stood before Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, more or less, he tells the angels, take him and enter him into the paradise through my mercy. So the man says, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh Allah. And more or less, he says, oh Allah, well, I appreciate the offer. I couldn't help but hear that you said you want me to enter through your mercy. Oh Allah, I don't want to enter through your mercy. I want to enter through my actions, oh Allah. Oh Allah, I worship you for 500 years. For 500 years, oh Allah, I worship you. So I don't want to enter through your mercy. I paid my debt. I worked hard. Every day I worship you, Ya Allah. Not the standing so you can enter me through your mercy. I want to enter through my actions. Allah says, you want to enter through your actions? Fine. No problems. So Allah Azza wa Jal orders the angels. He says to them, bring the scales here. He says, put the man's 500 years of worship on one end of the scale. And put, only put, just put the blessing that I gave him, the na'mah that I gave him, to be able to see with his eyes, just that, nothing more, nothing more. Just put the blessing that I gave him, to be able to see with his eyes, put that on the other end of the scale. Just the blessing to be able to see, outweighed 500 years of worship. So Allah says to the angels, take him and throw him into the hellfire. Then and only then, he says, Oh Allah, please, Oh Allah, please, I am content with your mercy. I'm content with your mercy, Ya Allah. Allah doesn't need anyone, my brothers. The name of seeing the Prophet of Allah in the authentic hadith, speaking to Sahaba, speaking to the greatest ummah that ever walked the earth, speaking to your fathers, speaking to a ummah that happily gave their lives for the pleasure of Allah. People who did the utmost, the biggest sacrifices and they deemed themselves and the most, as the most insignificant people. Today you do nothing and you think you're up there. They did everything and they thought that they were down there. The Prophet of Allah speaking to them, he says, none of you, who's he speaking to? He says, none of you will enter Jannah through your actions. None. People walking around like he's already from the people of Jannah, mashallah. People now, they worship their mashaykh. 100% brother. This guy's from Firdaus al-A'la. The Prophet of Allah saying to Sahaba, none of you will enter Jannah through your actions. None. So they asked the Prophet of Allah, even you? He says, yeah, even me. The greatest mujahid was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The greatest teacher was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The greatest father was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The greatest husband was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The greatest mercy to humanity was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The greatest habit to ever worship Allah azza wa jal was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The greatest messenger to ever walk the earth was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The greatest prophet to ever receive revelation was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The greatest creation that Allah ever created was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he says, even me. Except and only if Allah azza wa jal was to show mercy upon me. Something. 